Okay, so that's that stage completed. We've got the control board here removed and uh, the display removed. <coughs> and uh, that's the original display. And uh, the original control panel. No particular issues getting these removed, but do bear in mind you must not damage this ribbon cable. That goes to the four function buttons that are uh, uh, in here on the other side, so do not damage that. Then we've got obviously the LED uh, cable and uh, this small fan with its little uh, uh, plug on the end. So you at that stage you can put the lid to one side and the next stage then is to get these thermocouples out of the tubes that they're in. There's a number of reasons this needs to be done. Uh, firstly, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show you this, but hopefully you can see that that wire to the little thermocouple bead at the end is twisted. You need to carefully untwist that and uh, separate those wires. Uh, that improves the, uh, <clears throat> the response time and the accuracy. I don't know why they find the other one for you. There we go. You probably see the same there, it's uh, it's quite badly twisted. So we're going to have to carefully untwist that and hopefully not do any damage to the uh, bead on the end. Uh, now you'll see here that uh, there is a tube that the thermocouple is passed through. And uh, once the thermocouple is in the right place, uh, that is then crimped slightly at the factory and some silicon is placed around there. So actually to remove this you are going to have to squeeze uh, the little metal pipe, uh, squeeze it so it opens up again, get the silicon off and uh, gently tug the thermocouple out. In my case this one was quite badly stuck around, it was uh, you know, very well crimped around the plastic heat shrink tubing. Actually, it was this one, I think, and uh, the other one came out absolutely fine. But yeah, just uh, just squeeze that in the opposite direction to the way it's been flattened, and you should get those out. So next stage for me is to uh, just untangle these thermocouple wires, place them back in. There are uh, measurements of the correct height <clears throat> and also a picture of the untangled thermocouple. So that's the next stage, we'll just get that untangled, put back into the right height, uh, crimped and uh, then a little bit of uh, high temperature sealant put on there. So I'll be back in, oh, oh 